what is up guys welcome back to auto hedge thanks for checking out today's video look what happened to my f-150 it's hard to look at i know a few weeks ago i was driving in a uh, cement truck kicked up a rock destroyed my paint and put a hole right through that um, side mirror cap today's video is all about me trying to bring that paint back to normal or as close as i can i end up getting a little carried away and do and i end up doing all kinds of different paint corrections and i basically go through the whole exterior of my vehicle and uh, i was really impressed with this product so i kind of went nuts so check it out i'm gonna go step by step i hope you enjoy all right so the product i'm using today is called touch up direct it's from amazon or it's sold on amazon it caught my eye initially because it has like the highest reviews for any touch up paint that I could find. And it's a two step process. It's a clear coat and then there's the regular base coat. Obviously use the base coat first, clear coat later. This is a serious, serious, I wouldn't even call it a scratch. I mean, it's, it's down through the surface all the way down to the metal almost. Um, so, you know, have reasonable expectations for what this product can do but I'm gonna do what I can. So you're gonna start off by sanitizing the area, getting rid of all kinds of the oil or debris you may have around where you're, where you're planning on using this touch of paint. So you're gonna use um, some rubbing alcohol and I'm just kind of saturating the area with this little Q-tip. The goal is to make sure when you put on this paint that it's not gonna be um, going over anything that's gonna contaminate it or that it's going to uh, basically not let the paint saturate and go into the area that you're trying to fix. All right, now I'm using a microfiber cloth. I'm not, if you notice, I'm not dragging it over. I'm just dabbing the alcohol off of the area. If you start dragging um, a microfiber cloth over that area, you're actually gonna start pulling up more paint. That's not the goal. You just wanna sanitize this area, get it nice and clean. Just wanted to give you guys a close up so you can see how bad the damage really was to this paint. Um, but you know, this is good. It's a good like worst case scenario to show how well this product works. I'm not sponsored by this paint at all. This, you know, this company, I had to pay for this. They didn't give me anything. But um, I just felt like I had to make a video because I started using it in some spots to test it out and I was kind of blown away at how well it worked. So I figured I'd share it with you guys. All right, so here's my first coat. I dip it in, I give it a good shake, and then I make sure that I get off any excess paint. That's kind of key. Worst case scenario, you do not want any paint to drip. You're better off using a little less than too much and you're just kind of dabbing it on. Um, because you applied the alcohol, you're gonna notice that the paint kind of sucks in really nice, at least it, it did for me. It kind of sucked into those, um, those scars that were left on the paint. I'm not putting too much. This is the very first layer, so don't go crazy. And uh, kind of just paint in one direction, smooth, take your time. You can see here, I wasn't getting enough paint into that big, big chip right there. So I went back, I shook the bottle up a little bit, took the residue off, the excess paint off, and then hit it one more time. All right, so this is gonna be like six to eight coats of base that you're looking at right now. It didn't take too long, it dries really quick, but uh, you're gonna see, I'm gonna put the first coat of clear coat on I end up only putting two coats of the clear coat. Same rules apply. Give it a good shake. Um, you're gonna dab out any excess paint and go real slow and careful. Go with the same lines that, were, that you were using before. Um, don't go too heavy handed, just enough to fill in those gaps. From this angle, you actually almost lose track of where that first scratch was because of how well this company matched the paint. Um, I've used products in the past, really well-known, popular products. I'm not gonna mention any names, but 
Um, I had a 2016 Mustang GT with the exact same paint. I tried to I tried to order like the most popular um, paint matching products, and nothing really looked very good. You could really tell where I applied the paint match. Um, this product, not so much. It's doing a great job, especially with how extreme this damage is. So you can see here, I'm kind of I back up. I try to look at the paint from different angles. I put on a total of two coats of the clear coat. You don't want to put too much. You don't want to put too little. So every time you apply it, uh, wait five minutes, look at it from different angles and kind of see what you can get away with. Um, you don't want to go too nuts with this stuff. Um, just enough to kind of uh, have your eye lose sight of the flaw in the paint. That's the goal. All right, so obviously this isn't 100% perfect now, but it's pretty darn good. Looks a lot better than what we were working with before. This was some pretty serious damage. Now you can kind of see, you know, it kind of gets lost at certain angles. You can see it at certain angles, but at certain angles too, it gets completely blended in with the light and the paint. So I'm very, very happy, very, very impressed with this product. All right, so this is the portion of the video where I start going crazy and I got carried away because I really like how this stuff is looking. Um, right here, I'm just using clear coat. You guys will start to get a sense for when you can use just clear coat and when you have to use the paint, um, the actual metallic paint. Um, surface layer scratches, kind of like something that you would see by going over like a tree branch or someone maybe um, like lightly keyed your car, nothing that's you know, gets down through multiple layers of paint, the clear coat is just enough. So this is a good example of um, how well just a small base layer of clear coat um, can work for you. Now this right here might be the most impressive results of this entire video. Ever since I got this car, this has been bothering me. I bought it with this. A bird took a giant right on the hood of this vehicle at some point and the driver just let it sit and bake in the sun. So if you know anything about bird crap, um, it can actually, the it's a very acidic and if it's left out in the sun and you don't clean it, the acids can break down the clear coat. That's exactly what happened right here. So it took a whole layer of clear coat off. So I, I just rolled the dice and I said, hey, let's see, let's see what this can do. I put, I think it was about two coats of the clear coat on and was absolutely blown away. It almost completely removed this, uh, this bird spot. So check this out. I mean, it's, uh, it's really impressive to see. And then I'll show you another quick little zoomed in um, shot of later that night and you can really you can barely tell where this was
Just kind of going over quickly where I hit inside that door jam was all scuffed up. Brought that back to 100%. Then the original uh, area we were talking about, kind of by the, the side mirror, looks pretty darn good. There was a big chip on the wheel well area. That's pretty much gone. I can't even notice it in this, this video. And then um, the bumper. The bumper looks amazing after that touch-up paint and the clear coat. The clear coat took care of that bird crap pretty much 100%. If you zoom in, you can kind of tell where it's at, but barely. Very, very impressed. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like today's video, hit that like button. It helps the channel out a lot. This came out pretty good. Not perfect, but I'm really happy with the results. Saved me a lot of money. And if you're interested, I'll put a little uh, box up here. I ended up replacing these caps too. So I'll post another video and uh, I'll put a little box up here so you can click on it and check that one out too. Happy holidays and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.